good morning makers happy tuesday i hope you all are doing well i've been up for a little bit doing my morning routine or rhythm because it, sometimes it varies it's not a strict routine but i did have an early morning webinar so i kind of was like oh good morning <laughs> it was set on the west coast or on the east coast so it was super early here over on the west coast I've gotten a little bit of stitching done. I fixed my stitching that I did during Star Wars last night because I went a little rogue on the bottom line and luckily my friend Natalie reached out to me because I'm sharing pictures of my progress in a um, group that we have who are all taking part in this year long stitch along, the Modern Folk Embroidery 2020 stitch along. And she was like, um, I think your bottom line's a little wonky. <laughs> Lo and behold, I had like added extra bits to it. I just repeated some of the patterns. So a reminder to zoom out. I'm pinching because I do it on my iPad, zoom out on my pattern to make sure that everything is aligning correctly. Um, and also probably to stop stitching at around five o'clock. Last night when I signed off, it was about eight. So, and I'm such a morning person. I know I talk about that all the time, but truly, as you will see, <laughs> I think the only thing I can knit or stitch on, or no stitching, but anything I can knit or do crafty wise past dinner time is just vanilla, super simple habitation throw type knitting. So speaking of, I just finished mini 22, I believe. So I'm ready for mini 23 on the habitation throw and I'm, putting it off because I don't want it to end, but it's getting close. So I'm hoping that I have enough yarn just to finish off the pattern. I need to read the pattern to make sure that I can bind off and finish that corner with the remaining three minis that I have. Push comes to shove. There's a full skein that came with the kit. I'll show a picture here of it. It's so, so pretty. Um, that I'm going to be making, I've designated right now um, that skein to become a cowl uh, by Isolde Teague and I can't remember the name but I'll put up the pattern and the name here so you can see I have it set up in my queue and I just think it looks so beautiful with this skein of yarn. So push comes to shove, I can uh, wind up that skein and uh, use some of that yarn for the last bit if I if I need to. So and then it's all in the theme of A Court of Thorn and Roses, which is what this Advent set was by Once Upon a Corgi from this past December. It's called An Advent of Wool and Minis. <laughs> so Wool and Minis. So yeah, lots of crafty stuff, but I've got to get to work here for a little bit. And then now that I'm thinking about it, I think today would be, sorry about that. I still have a gimpy finger. It's doing better from when I cut it yesterday. So I lost a grip on the phone, <laughs> which is what I use for my camera. Anyway, I'm going to get to work, but I think later, I think that's what I was saying is that I think it'd be fun to brainstorm new things to cast on. Taking a break from work to do a little bit of work in the kitchen. I need to freeze some of the bananas that I've gotten almost too ripe, um, but I'm gonna freeze them. I have four of them, which means I'll have another batch potentially of frozen banana chocolate ice cream or nice cream, vegan ice cream that I need to try very soon. Uh, it's supposed to be really hot here this weekend or later this week, so I think I'm gonna try it in my food processor. So I'm gonna freeze some of that and then do a little bit of stitching and watching TV.
good evening. I'm done with work for the day. And I tell you, I had plans to make this beautiful uh, recipe of chicken tacos with a green sauce, but I just have no desire to dirty a bunch of dishes. <laughs> so it's something that I think I can make um, later this weekend. But I'm just for Cinco de Mayo, I'm just gonna make some guacamole and pour some salsa in a bowl and just sit and eat chips and guac and salsa. Should be delightful. What was it that Sarah Jessica Parker said in Sex in the City to a window display of shoes? Hello, lover. Sometimes all you need is a simple, simple dinner. I didn't use a recipe for my guac. I always kind of eyeball it. A little bit of onion powder because I don't like putting actual onions in my guac. Cilantro, uh, one garlic clove uh, minced or in the little presser. And what else did I put in there? Oh, a whole lime because I like my guac limey. And I had uh, two really big avocados. Birds are still singing. I'm gonna call it a night. I've been stitching my little hands off. Oh, this is going so quickly. It's so pretty. It's amazing. This is the first piece I've done where it's one color. Um, and I tell you, it goes so fast because you don't have to look up what color code it is. And plus it's uh, a piece that has very simple lines. You don't have to fill in every little bit of the pattern like some of the past pieces that I've done. So of course it goes a lot quicker. But I am gonna call it a night. I hope you all had a wonderful Tuesday. Here is to a Wednesday and hump day ahead. And I will see you all tomorrow. Hope you're doing well. <laughs>